it's Gainer from Gainer's Happy Place and you might think why I've got a bowl on here but this video is for Gilly because I mentioned wood turning and she wasn't sure what it was so I, she asked me to film some of the things that Darren has made by wood turning and this is the first one it's a bowl made out of coloured crayons so what you do is you cast all the crayons into resin and then you turn it and this is the result. So that's the first one. Let's go and see what else we have. So here's another vase that's all done in different layers, as you can see, with uh, a different coloured wood in between. That's that vase. Let me show you the top. Then there's this goblet, which I absolutely love. This was turned in all different coloured woods. Let me tip it up and show you the inside. There you go. And the bottom as well. Can you see all those different woods? So that's my favourite goblet. Just put it down gently. Moving across here, we have these two, which were turned again in different coloured woods. I don't know exactly how he did these now, but uh, there's two more. And then this one, look at that point there, how difficult it is to turn something that thin and fragile coming down it's another goblet with a twist twist to the stem and then these rings here are loose as you can see so that's another goblet i'll now take you into the dining room so firstly on the uh, window ledge in the living room i forgot these ones there's this one that this is all turned this is all wood and he's coloured it. I'll show you the other one across the way. So this is the second one. Very similar to the first. Again, all turned in wood. And now I'll take you into the dining room. Then on our dining table, we have this one, which is a bowl of fruit, which Darren turned all in wood. So there's the pear two apples two pears as you see and they're all let me take them out he made the plate can you see the grain in the wood absolutely gorgeous this is why we love wood so much and for christmas darren has bought me a tree which i'll show you a handmade tree so there's the bowl all pierced to look like a leaf in wood so that's um our bowl of fruit that always sits on our day at dining table he's a very very clever man and it's why we get on so well because i like to paint and draw and oh he turns wood so that's another one so first in the dining room is this helmet this, oh, sorry, I forgot my washing machine's on, if you can hear that in the background. I forgot to shut the door. Again, all turned in wood. There we go, on a stand. Next, we have this with a lid, bowl. This one actually won a competition in London. He entered and uh, had to go to London and receive a prize. This is all, every one of those squares was hand coloured in special wood felts that I had to buy him. It took hours and hours and hours of work, and that's the saucer to match. Then 
then we have this bauble here, pierced ball, which he uh, has a light inside. You can switch that one on. We have a three tiered, um, like segmented vase again, the lid comes off. There we go. There's another goblet there, tall twisted stem goblet. At the back, he did this huge, like modern art piece out of all different segments of wood. I think he used floorboards to make that out of and then glued it all together. We have a candle here that he recently made that's got a little candle inside it. That's difficult to do. We have a box here with north, south, east and west on that he lasered on. And then it says east has the uh, letters round the edge there and the lid comes off that. There's a blue pierced vase there with the uh, butterflies on. At the back again, we have a similar one to the one he won the competition with, with a twisted top. Hours and hours of work in that. Next, we have this one, which is uh, one of those office, it's got little wooden balls on, and it's one of those where you pull the first one out there we go and it uh one of those office you have it on your office desk there's this one let me take the christmas one out this is a double bowl can you see that it's one bowl inside another one let me come down and show you that was really difficult because he had to after piercing, he had to push every other segment inside. So that is really flimsy because it's pierced as well. But that's all in wood. And then lastly, we have this one. Which is another, like almost oriental vase, inside a stand. Then at the back, we have the rocking horse that I've showed you before that he hand carved me. And then on the wall here, we have a plate. There's one. Coming across, sorry, try and go slowly. Last one I want to show you is this plate here, another one segmented and coloured, hours and hours of work in that one as well. And then coming down, we went to a wood turning show and they've got these planks of wood. And I asked Darren, let me come out if he would buy me one and he said why do you want a plank of wood and I said I've got an idea so what I asked him to do was varnish it put these legs on and then I stuck on there's a ceramic butterfly there there's a lizard there Darren bought me Coming up, this one, which is a bronze bat, as I absolutely adore bats. And then coming to the top, we've got another ceramic butterfly there. And I just wanted it as like a modern piece of art in the corner of our dining room. It stands on an antique box that used to hold coal. It was a coal box. And then this box here 
has also been turned in wood but not by Darren. I found this one in an antique shop and this has got a ring on as well and the lid comes off. But that wasn't turned by Darren, that was turned by somebody else. So that's my video for Gilly to show Gilly and Alison what wood turning is. So I know it's not doll related, but uh, for those that watch, thank you very much. See you all again soon. Till next time. Bye for now.